Hi, this is Regina Y. Favors with Overcoming Setback Inspiration. And so I wanted to talk about fear and uh, how um, oftentimes we use fear or we allow fear to keep us from accomplishing the goals that we have. And so I want to uh, touch on 2 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, and of a sound mind. Usually, uh, fear is interpreted as lack of something, right? That you are missing something. So if you are fearful of something, that means you lack power. Or if you are fearful of something, you lack love. Or if, or if you are fearful, you have uh, you lack a sound mind on the thing. Because it's not God who is giving you a spirit of fear. It is you inherently within yourself struggling uh, with a particular uh, thing that you want to do. So remember, we always are very enthusiastic about something that we want to start. We are very good. We, we are, it's, it's, iron, it's uh, ironic. We are very successful at starting something. We will start anything. Where we fail or where we struggle as, uh, is with enduring something and during the particular goal that we set. We can set the goal, and we might even plan for the goal, but when we run into uh, trouble, conflict, issues, snags, anything, uh, we begin to feel fearful of, of, the, of uh, being able to complete it. Because when you start it, you don't see that you can't complete it. You see somehow in your mind, you're hopeful, um, you don't even have to be told to be hopeful. You're just very happy about the idea that you have come up with this idea and now you're going to try to fulfill it. But as you continue to engage it and learn about it and, and understand it, and really fear is is basically the absence of some kind of knowledge that, you, that you're missing. Because when you feel well informed about something, you feel powerful, right? Uh, you feel like you have a sound mind about it and you might add, add a little love in there somewhere. But when you don't have all the information about it uh, or you run into a conflict that you thought you had prepared for or you realize that, that the more you engage the goal of trying to complete it, the more you see that you are, you have more responsibilities. That more responsibilities are required of you. There, there's an additional task. Uh, you have to do so many more things that that you that you didn't plan for. That's when fear becomes uh, an issue, because when you see fear, when you when you feel fear or express fear, you you are basically suggesting that you don't see the end of the thing. And remember, better is the end of a matter than the beginning. So rem you you gonna you're gonna always have the encouragement, the um, um, the courage to start it. But it's when you get to in the middle is where, like the valley, you're feeling like you're not quite sure it's going to work out, and the fear is what blocks um, the the power aspect, the love aspect, the sound mind aspect. Because as long as you stay in a in a state of fear, which is your setback, you're not gonna see anything else. It's like walking around with a veil over your eyes. You know, we all have to wear masks because of the pandemic. But fear in this regard would mean you are walking around with a mask on your face on your eyes. Uh, like blinders on your eyes, just completely walking around blind on purpose. And um, there has to be uh, a time where you say to yourself, I'm just not, I, I got to get through this. And even though the fear is a setback for me, I, I'm going to have to do what I need to do to overcome that fear. So I don't know, you may have to get counsel, you may have to read, you may have to uh, pace yourself through the process. If you are in the middle of something and you are running into issues, the only way uh, out is through. You can't jump out of the middle. You can't fly out of the middle. You can't swim out of them. All you can do is walk through. And so uh, once you get that understanding that, that the only way out is through, 
then that moves fear aside and it brings you back into a power position, a love position and a sound mind position so that you can continue to walk out the issue, the goal, uh, walk out of the setback into overcoming it so that you don't um, remain in a state of setback and not actually overcome the things that you are trying to overcome. So God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power, love, and of a sound mind. And sound mind is most important because if you don't have a sound mind, uh, that means you are double-minded going back and forth on a particular type of goal you set. Either you believe in it or you don't. Anything that you set the task to do, either you believe in it or you don't. That's why you have to make sure you have to know that there are certain goals that you definitely want to achieve and accomplish or whatever. And then there are certain goals that just may be options. And a lot of times the reason why we stay in fear is because we have goals that, that are really truly options that we really don't care about. Because if we cared about it, we would do all we could to try to work through the fear aspect of, of anything that we are, are you know working on. Because the fear is going to set in when you when you are lacking something. Because again, if you felt like you were informed, um, which brings a level of comfort and confidence, then you wouldn't necessarily need to fear, right? So God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Thank you for listening to this audio.